Several countries, international bodies and individuals have expressed views regarding the situation in Sri Lanka. The U.S. Embassy issuing a statement says President Sirisena's decision to dissolve parliament poses a vital threat to Sri Lanka's democratic institutions. It says there is much at stake and such actions jeopardize Sri Lanka's economic progress and international reputation. The U.S. Embassy calls on the President to respect his country's democratic tradition and the rule of law and to fulfill the commitments of good governance and democracy upon which he and his government was elected. The Congress of the United States has written a letter to President Maithripala Sirisena. The letter, which bears the signatures of three Congress members, including the co-chair of the Congressional Caucus on Sri Lanka, Diana Titus, says, quote, We are gravely concerned about the decision to suspend your country's parliament and replace the Prime Minister through an extra-constitutional mechanism called for immediate reopening of the parliament and diffuse this crisis through a democratic process, unquote. The letter further reads, we feel that recent actions, if not corrected, will threaten your country's democratic development and derail the progress made in recent years. The letter goes on to say it has caused the political crisis which Speaker Karu Jayasuriya has warned could result in a bloodbath and could have an impact on the MCC program, U.S. foreign assistance and other U.S. engagement and programs. The U.S.-Sri Lanka partnership is built on shared goals of good governance and a commitment to democratic values. As such, we urge you to signal your commitment to these values and the rule of law by allowing Parliament to perform its constitutional duties without interference. Canada says it is deeply concerned by the decision to dissolve Sri Lanka's Parliament. According to Canada, this further political uncertainty is corrosive to Sri Lanka's democratic future and its commitments on reconciliation and accountability. Australia has expressed its concern and disappointment with President Sirisena's decision to dissolve the Sri Lankan Parliament. In a release, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Australia says, As a long-standing friend, we believe this action undermines Sri Lanka's long democratic tradition and poses a risk to its stability and prosperity. We urge respect for the country's democratic institutions and for all parties to continue to exercise restraint. Views were expressed regarding Sri Lanka by the UN Secretary General's deputy spokesman. Uh, uh, on Sri Lanka then. The, the basic um, the you know the basic issue is that uh, is that we uh, have have been informed of the latest developments we uh, we uh, certainly hope that uh, the the regular constitutional procedures will be followed and uh, and we'll keep uh, monitoring the situation uh, to see what happens after that Norway says it is deeply concerned by President Sirisena's decision to dissolve the Sri Lankan Parliament on the 9th of November, just days before it was due to be reconvened. India's BJP senior leader Dr. Subramaniam Swamy, meanwhile, says it is a good decision since a majority based on defection may be constitutional, but morality demands in a democracy that voters decide. He adds that if the TNA had backed Mahindra Rajapaksa, they would have had a good deal but the Sri Lankan Tamil leaders are suicide-prone.